Hey, y'all. Um, so, I am doing another video on the iPad. I uh, hope y'all can hear me because, um, we got, um, we got the air going and we got the washer and dryer going. So, I hope y'all can hear me. Um, I'll try to talk kind of loud. Uh, so, well, you got a new TV for the bedroom. Well, not really new TV, but TV for my, from my, um, parents' house that was in my room. And we got that, and now we got it in the bedroom. So, there you go. Um, Kurt is hooking that up. And today I wanted to talk about, um, oh, by the way, I feel like crap. Um, I don't know why, she's kind of bleh. I just feel yucky. Um, so, here I am. Um, in my jammies. <laughs> oh, if you can see, but jammies. And, uh, no hair. So, uh, um, but, um, uh, vlog not too long ago on my little vlog spot thing. Um, I don't really use that much. I mean, I probably will, but, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll start. I will. I mean, I don't know if I'll start or not. <laughs> it sounds good if I say I will, but I really don't know. I don't want to lie to you. I like writing, but, I mean, I mean, really, who are you If y'all do, let me know, and I'll start, um, vlogging when I can't, um, video. But, I mean, I got my Instagram and I got my Twitter, so... Um, and I post videos every now and then. I'm going to start posting a lot more, like I said. But, um, anyways, hey, but if y'all do want me to start vlogging on Vlogspot, go, I'll, I mean, I'll let you know. I mean, you can let me know. But, um, I got a question, I got a really good question a while ago, and it was, can I have kids? Um, you know, since you got married and everything, people, a lot of people already thought I was pregnant. But, I'm not, um, they... Um, asked me if I had, if I could have kids, and really, I don't know if I can or not. Uh, I, uh, I'm not sure. Um, uh, I, I'd be the only person that, I, I mean, the only person that I've ever heard of. And I'm, I like to think I'm pretty in tune with, you know, the Harlequin Excelsis group, but, um, I mean, I could definitely be more involved, but... I mean, I'm a little bit knowledgeable of people, and I'm almost sure that um, there hadn't been anybody who's had a kid, anybody with Harlequin ichthyosis, mm -hmm. anybody with Harlequin ichthyosis that has ever had a baby. Um, so I'm really not sure what would happen, but seeing, ha seeing as how my skin don't stretch, uh, I'm not even sure if I'd like you know to risk it um it would i mean the chances of me surviving um pregnancy is slim to none my skin don't stretch so um i mean my skin don't stretch like hardly at all in order to like when i first wake up in the morning my skin is very tight i have to take a bath and rub all the old skin off and um rub all the old skin off and put lotion on it for it to kind of loosen up and stuff um and I have to put lotion on throughout the day and sometimes if I don't move and if I stand in a certain position and if I, okay like say I'm laying like this right with my leg uh under my other leg or you know bent around my other leg if I was to stay like that for a while and then I wanted to get up real quick it would hurt because my skin has already got so tight just from that so I mean think about getting big as your freaking well and your belly not your the skin on your belly not stretching and it ain't just your belly getting bigger it's i mean you know everything your chest getting bigger and your i mean your body goes through so many changes and mine i don't know if my body is strong enough to you know do it i mean i have you know i have proven doctors wrong time and time again you know everybody with harlequinicthiosis or any kind of skin disorder has um I mean, I like to, I think we're all a miracle. I mean, everybody's a miracle, really. But I mean, I think I mean we're fighters. <laughs> and but if even if I wanted to, you know, risk it, and even if I thought, you know, I want a baby bad enough, and you know, my, me and Kurt talked about it, and if we wanted a baby bad enough to risk my life, you got to think about, you know, risking the kid's life because there's a 50-50 percent chance 
when I have a baby, it'll have polyneuthiosis and so I carry the gene. Um, and, I mean, I, I don't know, that seems kind of selfish to me. I mean, if, I mean, I'm not, I mean, if somebody with polyneuthiosis does want to, that's kind of hard to say after a while. <laughs> But, um, if somebody with harlequinosis does want to have a baby, I mean, I go right ahead. But I don't know if, I, can, I don't know, I mean, emotionally, I don't know if I can take it. And, I mean, it ain't just me where I've got to think about it. It's the baby, too. You know, think about, and Kurt, I mean, okay, if something happens to me and I don't make it through the pregnancy, and the baby's time, that's one thing. But what if I don't make it through the pregnancy and the baby, you know, if, if the baby makes it somehow and even if I don't make it, if the baby does make it out of out of the womb and then she or he has harlequinosis and something happens to, you know, something happens to it, it gets a skin infection or it dehydrates or it, you know, just, I mean, doesn't make it. I mean, DVD player just fell. But, um... You know, if something happens and it just, I mean, I mean that would kill her. I do. There's absolutely. I it ain't just me when it comes to having babies. It ain't just me. I gotta think about it. it ain't just her. It's me, the baby, that would be, and you know, Kurt. And I mean, hey, I could get pregnant and be perfectly fine. The baby come out healthy as a dang horse, and everything be fine. But what if? You know, I mean. I'm, I'm not sure, but um, as of right now, we got Max and our little puppy dog, and I mean, I guess that's all. I'm not gonna lie, I want a baby. <laughs> I want a baby so bad. I, I mean, so bad. So does Kurt. Um, he'll get on here and talk in a minute after he's done hooking up the TV. He'll get on the bed and talk with me. But um, y'all get to see what he says, but or what he thinks, but. I mean, I wanted a baby. I just wanted to be a mom, you know. I wanted to, I wanted to have that neat, you know, needed to be needed feeling, and I want to have something. I mean, I want to just, I don't, oh, wanted a baby. But, you know, you got to be ready. You got to be financially ready. You got to, I mean, you got to be ready. <laughs> you can't, you know, well, we're kind of ready, so let's give it a whirl. I mean, it ain't like a, oh, a change of my mind kind of thing. I mean, it's a... I mean, we're not going to be stupid. Right? Make a lot of racket over there, big boy. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it's, it's a, you got to be ready, and it's, I mean, it's a definite thing. Once you, I mean, once you're pregnant, I mean, I guess there's ways you can change your mind, if, but, no. Um, there's, I don't believe in abortion one bit. So, <laughs> this is my baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, hey, Max. So, hey. <gasps> Look, Max. He's out. He's out. Move, 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 Thank you. You understood that? Um, did you turn on with the remote? Uh -huh. oh. I have programmed the remote. Oh. But, um, anyways. Uh, yeah, we are gonna switch over to Kurt, and well, or he's gonna come up here. He's gonna put a halt on the remote. Okay, baby, he ain't gonna put a halt on the remote. Um, but yeah, we'll probably do this in two seconds because this is already nine minutes long. So <laughs> yeah, look in another video and see what Kurt thinks. Alright, bye. Say bye, Max. Say bye. Say bye. He's out. He's out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, bye, y'all.